The overall goal of this procedure is to obtain extracellular field recordings from the forebrain of an intact larval zebrafish. This is accomplished by first immobilizing the larval zebrafish in an agarose block. Next, a recording microelectrode is placed in the forebrain under direct visualization. The final step is to record forebrain electrical activity. Ultimately, results can be used to monitor abnormal electrographic seizure activity in intact zebrafish larvae. I first had the idea for this method when I was seeking to demonstrate that seizures could be elicited in larval zebrafish. Zebrafish husbandry follows standard procedures described previously. Briefly, adult zebrafish are set up in breeding tanks with dividers in place. When the lights in the room come on the following morning, the dividers are removed and the fish are allowed 20 to 60 minutes of undisturbed mating time. Eggs are then collected from the tanks, transferred to a petri dish with egg water, and cleared of debris with a transfer pipette. Now, place the eggs in an incubator and in about two days, the eggs will hatch. Once hatched, remove the chorion and any other debris with a transfer pipette. Then return the larvae to the incubator until they reach the desired developmental time point. In preparation, pull 1.2 mm outer diameter borosilicate glass capillaries into needles using a micropipette puller. Store the needles in a 150 mm petri dish over putty ramps. Now, backload the microelectrode with a 2 molar sodium chloride solution using a 1 ml syringe with a 4 ml syringe filter and attached filament. Tap the bolus near the needle tip until there are few or no bubbles remaining.